Hi, Hiram here. Back on my old channel, Hiram Cook, I, had, uh, I did a video on what I thought was the lightest alcohol stove that I could make. Since then, I've been asked many times, what is the lightest stove, not burner, but stove that I could possibly make? So I played around with my stuff here, and I came up with this. Would you believe a stove that weighs 2.6 grams or 0 0.09 ounces? All it is is a teacup light, the, the cup to a tea light. Now we've played around with these, but this would be a burner. And I got to playing around with my stuff. I have one of these crimper tools that I've used for some paper stuff for my wife. I took this, cut a piece, a rectangular piece of aluminum from the bottom of a pie pan, ran it through the crimper, and I got this. I don't know if you can see it. By crimping the metal like this, it makes it much stronger. Even though it's just light aluminum, it makes it much stronger for holding things up. So I take this, put this in the tea cup, tea light cup, and I have a burner, a stove rather, that weighs 2.6 grams. Now this isn't something that you'll make a big meal on, but it should be big enough to heat a cup of water for uh, tea, coffee, hot chocolate, soup broth. So that's what I'm going to try today to see how if this does work. I have one cup of water in my, my Vargo titanium cup. This is what I've been sticking in my day pack. Uh, I have one half fluid ounce of methanol. Put that down in here. I think this will hold more than a half of a fluid ounce, but I just want to try it at this rate first. Now the one thing that happens is with this corrugation on this, it makes little dents on the side where the alcohol can come up through. Let's see what happens if I light this. Let this, there we go. See how it's coming up on the sides? All right. Let me put my one cup of water here, start the timer, and let's see what this does. There we have 210. 211, 212 at 4 minutes 29 seconds, 4 minutes 29 seconds, and let's see how long this goes to boil, uh, to run out. Okay, there we're going, going, still a little bit of flame coming out of the hole there which I didn't mention what that was for. Okay, let's say 623 for run out. If I may say so myself, I'm kind of impressed. So, that was one cup of water in my Vargo titanium cup. Came to a boil in four minutes. It started at what, 60 degrees? Oh, I didn't write that down. I'll have to check. Uh, I think it was about 60 or 61. Came to a boil in 4 minutes and 29 seconds and then ran out in 6 minutes 23 seconds, which means we would have had a biologically safe cup of drinking water here, which we could have made into tea, coffee, hot chocolate, whatever you wanted. Not bad. This could be a viable little stove to put into your emergency kit. I mean, it wouldn't take any weight. It could be taken apart. Okay, it's cooled off already. It's basically just two pieces. A tea light cup. Take the candle out. You got this left over. And a rectangular piece of aluminum 
aluminum uh, foil from a pie pan that's been run through a corrugator. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention was I did punch, can you see that? I did punch one hole in here. I didn't want, this is something you got to watch for. With this in the burner, the stove like this, I put alcohol in here and then I put a cup on top. That could seal it off and then the vapors from the alcohol inside could build up and squirt the alcohol out of these, can you see them, these little ridge holes here? So what I did was I punched one hole in it to relieve any pressure. So the vapors come up through here, but you don't get a lot of pressure build up. So, huh. Once again, it's not, not the sturdiest, not the stablest, but it does bring a cup of water to a boil, at least ways in a house. The temperature right hit now is 56 degrees in here, and it did bring a cup of water to boil using a half of a fluid ounce of methanol. Could use denatured alcohol. I wonder what this would do with the isopropyl alcohol. That'd be interesting to try. So anyway, I hope that helps people. This, I think, is about as light as I can possibly go for a a stove, not a burner, but a stove. 2.6 grams or 0 0.09 ounces. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. The questions as to like what kind of small stove can I make. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Know you've been a good friend, and that's in the thick and thin.